hi and welcome to my channel my name is Ellen and in this week's video I'm going to the Barbie movie premiere I'm going to take you guys along with me I'm going to do a chit chat get ready with me going to show you guys how I do my makeup also talk a bit to you guys so you get to know me better I'm going to show you guys my outfit and also how the movie premiere went and also the free goodie bag so if you're interested in that don't forget to like this video also subscribe i'm not going to let you guys wait any longer and let's get started i already washed my face and the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to just pin my hair away so it doesn't get in the way and for my hair i thought i'm just going to do like two braids so that they are kind of curly okay so now the next step is i'm going to use a day cream and i really am looking for a good primer because i really love the Too faced one but it just finished so i'm just going to use some day cream i know primer is a better way to let your makeup stay but i don't have a primer at the moment so We'll just have to do it with the Nivea cream. So while I'm doing my makeup, I'm going to talk to you guys. So if you don't know me, my name is Ellen and I'm 23 years old. I live in Belgium. I study interior architecture. I'm really interested to do my masters in architecture. Focus is definitely interior architecture. I really love to transform my home into something very comfortable for the user mainly what we do in interior architecture to really give comfort to a home sometimes uh, it's a renovation or sometimes it's a new home so i really like to <laughs> massage the, the cream into my face because i have such a dry skin and i feel like nivea really works <laughs> i also like to use like this rose quartz it's a roller yeah a rose quartz roller that's what I'm studying. You mainly probably see like a lot of videos about it on my channel because I really like to document it mainly because when I started out I really didn't find much information about my course and I really want to help others so that they know what they get themselves into but also just in general what the course is about. I'm really passionate about it so that's why you see a lot of videos about it but I also do like to make other videos like this for example. I really like to just do vlogs like for example today I like to do my makeup, get ready, show you guys how I do my makeup but if you're not really into makeup then I'm also just talking so it won't get too boring for you. Summer plans. What are you guys' summer plans? So I am maybe going on vacation in September because it's easier. I do have a few finals. Focus. Okay, I'm also going to, to apply the foundation. So for a foundation, I use the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Airbrush Foundation. And it's number three in Cool. Uh, this is a perfect match. I actually got it from a friend for my birthday. And ever since I loved it and I used it all the time. So I'm just going to apply it. I like to build it up. You definitely don't need a lot of product, but I like to use it because it's for the premiere. And when we're going to take some pictures, I like my makeup to just look like a bit more flawless on camera. So that's why I'm applying a bit more. And also make sure your beauty blender is like damp. I like to use a beauty blender. Also, I don't have a mirror in front of me, so I'm using my camera, so hopefully it will work out fine. It's a bit risky. Now that we applied foundation, I'm going to clean up my lips and also my eyebrows. So I always use micellar water. This was rose water. Not a, a huge fan of rose water, but it was the only one they got. I normally get the normal one, but <laughs> it does fit the aesthetic right now. Now I'm going to bake my face. So for my birthday, I actually got the Huda Beauty baking powder in the shade Pound Cake. I never had um, baking powder before from this quality. It's a really great brand. I used to have like the, the one from Revolution and maybe I just got like the wrong shade, but it was very white and my makeup did not look good. And since I've been using this product, it was really a game changer. Like my makeup looks very flawless. I like to use this sponge, but when I, it's uh, going to be already dirty and very used, I 
think I'm going to use a triangle one because it's like kind of hard to tap it into the product. Like I would rather have like um, a triangle one. Okay, so I usually let this sit for I think 5 to 10 minutes. Just let it sit. So now the next thing that I'll be doing is I think my eye makeup while it sets. So for my eye makeup, I like to use this product. I think you have it from different brands. It's just kind of a serum and it's white. I will show you guys. Like this white brush. And I really love it because it really like gives my eyelashes more volume. It really strengthens my eyelashes. It makes them look longer. Okay, so my camera was uh, full, so I had to transfer some videos uh, to my iPad. I always edit my videos on my iPad. So where was I? I'm going to apply this and then after that mascara. I need to <laughs> be too crazy. I'm actually going to use this mirror. I'll show you guys this palette also in a minute. It's the one from Urban Decay. I really love this palette. It's the second, second time that I bought it. I hope they still sell these. I do think so. I really love this palette because it has a lot of colors that I actually would use. Like it's sometimes annoying when you buy like a palette of the colors aren't like really your color or you're probably not going to use it. So that's why I really love this palette. Okay, so as you can see my lashes already look way longer. And I'm now going to apply some mascara. So this is the mascara that I use. It's a Lash Sensational from Maybelline. Uh, I really love this mascara. Uh, it's an all-time favorite of mine. I always buy this mascara because it really lengthens my eyelashes. And it's also a great combo with the primer. Okay, so now that my mascara is done, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to brush off my baking powder. Now that that is all like blended in, I'm now going to use some blush. So for the blush, I use the blush from Essence. I think it's a really great brush. It's a drugstore brand. I don't know if you have it in every country, but yeah, I really love it. I think if this gets finished, I'll probably get the Rare Beauty one. I'm a really big fan of Rare Beauty. You will see some products from Rare Beauty in a minute. So for contour, I like to use the Rare Beauty stick, the shade Power Boost. So I like to apply not too much product. I do see a lot of people apply like a lot of product. Maybe they really like blend it well, but I like to use just a few dots. I'll also blend it out with another brush. Now that that is blended out, I am going to use some highlight. I didn't finish actually talking about my summer plans, so I will probably go on vacation in September. I usually start uh, school at the end of September, so I still have some time left. And it's also way cheaper to go on vacation in September, so I think I will probably do that. I also have a few finals in the summer. And I think I'm going to make like a study vlog, maybe if you guys are interested in that. Uh, like how can you like st still study a bit in the summer? I know that can be hard. So, so this is the highlight. I'm going to check if I applied it well. For the highlight, it's also from Rare Beauty. This one, and it's in the shade Flaunt. I choose a more gold color because I'm really a big fan of gold like warm uh, highlights instead of like a really cold one hopefully you can see it on camera the last thing i need to do is just my eye makeup so first i am going to use like a white pencil this gives like a barbie look it uh, makes your eyes appear bigger when you put in like a white pencil on your waterline just like that and then I'm going to use my Naked Tree palette and I'm going to use the shade... Yeah, there's, <laughs> I really can't read the shade because it's like already smoked out. But it's this one and I also like to do, use this shade and to like blend in the, like the corner of my eyes. I like to use this pink color so it's all going to be very pink. Finally, let me know what you would like to see next. I have this series planned on how to make models 
but I think a lot of you guys probably want to watch that when it's cool and not right now in the summer but I still want to post them so that you can still come back to it also if you haven't watched it I will link it here um, but yeah I definitely understand it that it's probably at the moment not so relevant to, to watch those but I still wanted to make them to help you guys I know a lot of you guys actually study the same course as I do or something uh, in the same field so I know it definitely is helpful let me know if you want to see like maybe a Q&A about my course you want to see something else related or maybe you just want to see something totally different definitely let me know as my plans for now I'm just going to I work on some projects that I have uh, for school. I also have a personal project that I'm working on right now. Plans of, an ha of the house. I'm also going to make like a 3D model of the house and really help design the house and renovate it. So maybe that's also really interesting for you guys to see like a mini series of how I renovate the house, whole, the whole process. And I think it's just a really nice learning experience for me as well as a designer because it's still different when we have these projects in school like you don't really look into the budgeting right now I do need to consider that and also like technical things like what are the best options so I'm really excited to help with this project I want to talk a little bit about the Barbie movie so for the Barbie movie I actually bought these tickets they were like premiere tickets and I'm very excited because I've always been like a Barbie girl, like uh, I had all the DVDs when I was younger, a lot of Barbie dolls, like definitely fan. so I'm really excited. I don't know what the movie is going to be about. I didn't watch any trailers, like I always like scrolled away when I saw a trailer, so I'm so excited to see what the movie is going to be about. I think at the premiere there's going to be like a reception before the movie starts like we get some snacks and then also going to be like some kind of animation then after the movie we'll also get a goodie bag so i will show you guys my goodie bag that i got i already saw on tiktok like some countries got like really cool goodie bags so we'll see i'm super excited so uh, my makeup is finished um, just go oh i forgot the lips so for the lips, I'm going to use the Clinic in Black Honey. Very popular on TikTok, but I love this. Like I use this on a daily. Now I just need to do the hair. I'm going to do two braids. It was super fun to chat with you guys and I'm going to do it more often so that you'll get to know me a little bit better. I also want to get to know you guys, so definitely leave a comment. So what are your summer plans for this summer? Definitely let me know. So this is the outfit. I have this pink tank top and this beautiful skirt. It's giving very like Barbie. I'm normally going to take this back, but since I'm going to have a sleepover, I'm just going to take my Ted Baker back. I think it's also very chic and suits the whole outfit. Uh, maybe I will do this pink sweater. Maybe also this hair clip. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to do a hair clip. I also have this one. I didn't buy the outfit for the Barbie movie. It's just I really love pink. So I already had all these clothes. Like as you can see, I have a lot of pink details in my room. Like I have these pink curtains. A pink outfit together wasn't a problem at all. Going to see how the braids look. I definitely will have to uh, put on some more curls because it's not all like super wavy as I expected it to be. I definitely need to add some curls so that it will look nicer together but I'm going to try in the outfit okay maybe I'm going to let my hair like this I mean I think it looks actually fine like kind of beachy and this is the outfit I will show you guys in a mirror to see it better and also the makeup I think it definitely su succeeded, super excited. I don't know if I'm going to do the hair clip or not. Try it out. I mean, it's definitely a really cute detail, but I'm just going to 
not it this way do i need something else i think that's it for the look like i said i actually wear and owe a lot of pink things so this look wasn't really hard at all and then i also put in this like chanel earrings and that is all for the look so i'm going to take some pictures from the look because i really like this look and then i will take the train maybe eat something first then i will take the train and i will see you guys in a bit for the shoes i'm going to wear this pink and white night shoes i already owned them a long time ago and i think they look really cute with the outfit i also have this pink card holder that will also complete this look then for jewelry i just have my watch and this rose cord bracelet that I actually wear all the time. So I'm here an hour earlier just to make sure that we have we get a goodie bag and that we're just that we just have time enough to enjoy the premiere but my friend is a bit late and he will be here in 40 minutes so i don't know what i'm going to do um maybe i will just walk around <laughs> So I'm back from the movie and I wanted to show everything that I got from the free goodie bag. First thing when we came in, in the reception room, we got this hat. It's inspired from the Barbie movie. Then we also got this pink bag and it says Barbie on it. Then in the goodie bag there was a floral tonic inside, like a grapefruit flavor. Uh, then we also got a Martini Bellini and also some beer like a fruit flavor so it was all like mainly alcohol uh, for the free goodie bag and we also got like a magnum ice cream when we came in there was also this bracelet inside of it like i don't think it's really that barbie inspired as you can see there was also a pink table with some goodies and there they had these pink pants and also a pink like um, ball for on the beach i think the bag is super cute and also the hat is like very barbie inspired so i'm really happy with all the goodies that i got okay so i also wanted to do like a little review from the movie so i definitely was not expecting this like there was definitely a deeper meaning behind the movie and i actually liked it the glamorous parts were there from barbie but it was still like so much deeper than i would have thought it was also a comedy maybe sometimes it was a bit like a fever dream like some scenes like if you watch the movie that scene with like ken when he was singing in like a white room with all the cans that was definitely something but in general it's definitely a really good movie i really recommend you watch it i don't think it's really for kids it's more like on the adult side like i definitely think kids won't understand everything but yeah definitely a really good movie i recommend it also super happy with how the premiere went i showed you guys like my goodie bag the pink bag and like the hat were definitely my favorites overall it was a really great experience i definitely am going to a premiere again if there is a movie that i really like i also went to the premiere from indiana jones because my mom is a really big fan from indiana jones so we also went to that premiere and it was also a really great experience so the cinema that i went to was kinepolis i think you have it in different countries as do as well if you sticked around thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next week bye